Hi, I'm Dr. Dan, and we're discussing intestinal repair. Now, alternative doctors have been talking about leaky gut syndrome, you know, for as long as I can remember, for 35 years anyway. And, you know, this, this uh, kind of flew in the face of what medical science uh, thought was true, because they figured that those, uh, those gaps, or those uh, spaces between the intestinal cells, were what they called inert. And in other words, they were not flexible, they were, you know, they were tightly held together. In fact, they called them tight junctions. So, this leaky gut idea was, uh, was really kind of poo-pooed. But, um, there was one guy, uh, Alessio Fasano, who was working with, um, uh, with his team on a, a cholera vaccine. And what they found was that he, they got this vaccine all prepared, which was basically, um, they, had, they had stripped out some of the, ge the genetic ability of this uh, bacteria to create some of the proteins and some of the, some of the products that would cause diarrhea. And so they, they um, ran this whole vaccine trial, but they were real disappointed because the, vac the trial had to be stopped early because so many of the, of the people in the test group had such terrible diarrhea that, that obviously it wasn't working. So. Anyway, um, they, instead of just giving up, because they were really disheartened because they worked really hard on this, but they decided to figure out why this was happening. And what they discovered was that the intestines have this molecule called zonulin that you know, they named. The zonulin actually opens up these tight junctions. And so this is the first time that this had, this had been, um, been proven at that kind of level. And he said the medical community didn't really warm up to the idea very fast. But the data was so convincing that eventually, um, you know, more and more people realized that this was true. So what happens is when um, when you eat something, or in this case, you know, cholera bacteria, but that's a different case. But you eat something like gluten, for example, that can activate the zonulin, opens up those tight junctions. Fragments of that gluten get into your bloodstream and travel to your actually travel throughout the body, causing uh, antibody reactions. And also, the reason that you crave these things is that some of these fragments actually go to the brain and, and activate opiate receptors. And so then you develop a craving for the very thing that is hurting you. So this happens with many different types of foods. So if you have intestinal, if you even think you might have intestinal problems or leaky gut syndrome, then you probably do. Because it's very, very common. And this is true of anybody who's had exposure to antibiotics, which we all have, because you know our our food has been full of antibiotics because they give it to the cows and chickens and pigs. So um, you know you've probably been exposed to that, and that would have affected your that uh, leaky gut syndrome. So in order to repair this, the first thing, the first step, of course, is to find out what you're reacting to. Now, Cyrex Labs has t three different rays that we recommend. The first one is for to measure that gut permeability. And they do check for zonulin in a couple of forms and some other similar products in your blood. And then you, then you can check for ray three, which looks at several different wheat products and the antibodies, and then ray four, which are related foods. But I won't go through the list, but go through uh, CyrexLabs.com and you can find the list of things they checked for. And we, uh, we help people with that. We help facilitate that process. So, the second thing, or the next thing you want to do is to be in supplementation. Once you've learned what you're reacting to and you get that out of your diet, then supplementation. The first step would be probiotics. And one or two probiotics a day is not going to do the trick for helping this process. You're going to need probably more like six to ten a day, but you're going to start with one or two and work up. And the type of probiotic is a little bit, is a topic for another day, but anything's better than nothing. So just uh, get started with what you have. Um, the next thing we want to do um, is think about other supplementation. Now, two different companies are that we work with are all over this. Neuroscience has their uh, GI, or GI repair kit, and Apex Energetics has a repair bite. And so both of these are excellent products, and it just depends on your physiology which one will work better for you. Uh, ClearBite program, which is a topic of another video, um, is also recommended. To help, uh, to help with this whole process. So anyway, there are some ideas and some, uh, some basic information about intestinal repair. And of course, you can always give us a call and we'll uh, discuss your particular uh, case with you and see what we can do to help out. 
So that's uh, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for listening. Hopefully that was helpful.